It's time for Eric plays multiplayer Civ 6. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm feeling kind of ill, so I'm going to be speaking a little more quietly to kind of save my voice as I go. So I just updated to OBS 23.0.1 and um, I have to say that I think that in addition to any other features they added, they added one new really cool feature which is that uh, if you sign in directly to um, Twitch or YouTube you get these side panels that kind of allow you to um, Control stuff that normally you'd have to go to the website for. From the first stirrings of life, be they're probably doing this um, based on the uh, OBS fork that Streamlabs is using, but I'm not entirely sure. I must say it's pretty awesome. Um, so, at least for now, instead of using Restream.io. I'm just going to use Twitch directly. I mean, for the most part, most of my um, viewers are usually from Twitch, not YouTube. Although I do occasionally get some YouTube. But it's nice to have the stream information built in and the chat window built in. Um, I think it's a really, really cool thing they've done. and I think a lot of people are going to appreciate it a lot more than the way things were before. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go around this mountain over here. Once again, just uh, the fastest people ever, these uh, Mongolians. If I happen to uh, sneeze, um, before I can hit the mute button on my uh, Yeti. Uh, apologies. I'm gonna try and make sure that I hit it before before sneezing, because I'm sure that's kind of gross to hear. So I'm really excited. I, today I just got my Tascam DR60D Mark II, which is for um, for my SLR. Some of you that follow my YouTube channel may know that uh, I've also got this website, ComicPow.com, and I cover um, Baltimore Comic Con every year. And uh, slowly but surely, I've been making my videos slightly more professional each year. And uh, the biggest place I feel that they were kind of not meeting the mark was on audio. So I got this sweet new, um, and, I, and I like my Tascam, my little handheld one that I've been using as a microphone. Um, so this new one is pretty neat. It, it does, uh, oh, what are these type of mics called? XLR mics, which is pretty sweet. Because um, when I recorded off the board for the um, award show last year, I had to use an adapter. And this time I'll be able to go straight off the board. Uh, in addition, I got a couple XLR um, Omni mics, lovelier mics for, um, you know, go right here on your, on your shirt. So I'm hoping that really improves the audio. Because the... Uh, the biggest thing is I, I kind of wasn't, I would hold the, um, I would hold the mic close enough to my, um, to my mouth, but not close enough to the other person's mouth because I didn't want to get in their face. And so I was like constantly having to adjust the uh, audio. I'm hoping that if I just have it pinned to their shirt, I won't have to do as much adjusting. The other advantage 
um, if I didn't misunderstand the web page when I was buying it, is that it, it does four tracks, and so, and I think each mic gets its own track, so I should be able to tweak each one individually, like, okay, I'm going to raise the volume on mine or lower it on mine, or who knows, maybe even an audacity, like, bring them both to the same level instead of just guessing. We'll have to see how that goes. I'm going to have to play with it, so um, we'll see. Of course, uh, if I do post something to YouTube, it'll probably appear way before this video because, um, you know, in order to keep things competitive with my brothers, I'm posting these videos like two months later, give or take. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about playing with that. Uh, <coughs> perhaps sometime this weekend. Oh, this weekend I also want to do some baking. Um, I just got a sweet um, bunt pan. We didn't have any bunt pans in the house. We had pretty much everything else. We had uh, uh, loaf pans and cake pans and pretty much everything except bunt pans. And there's this cake I want to make in the bunt pan. So that should be cool. I uh, moved them a little f further than I had to. Let's do a cancel on that. Alright, let's attack him and hopefully kill him. Nice. Alright, no promotions earned, unfortunately. Alright, let's see here. I'm not sure I need a farm because... When the heck am I going to earn, earn irrigation? Did I do that yet? Okay, I have that set as my next thing. Okay. Um, I think I'll just save him for now. This guy can come explore over here. So I'm built the Temple of Artemis. At this point, it's almost too many games, but that's because they take too long to load now. In addition to the cakes I want to make, I've also got this really neat recipe I want to try for Carolina cheese bread. That's right, we money. got money now. If it does not bring you money, it's a guess. All right, that's Dan. Research. Yeah, let's do sailing since we're going to make our next city over there. <coughs> Sounds like somebody got into a fight. Kind of out of things to say at the moment. Um, From humble beginnings, you have shown. 
in the interest of saving my throat, I'm just going to not talk for now unless I think of something to say. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets, a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. Queen Sandu, the stars reveal you lead Korea to greatness. Build Seun to educate your people, for the secrets of the world are theirs to uncover. For those who would steal your knowledge, treat them to a rain of rocket-propelled fire from your Huacha. Reach for the... That was pretty fast. <clears throat> Alright, three more to go. I think at this point we're playing... I'm going to be doing the games that don't have any expansion packs. The original games that we started. So the furthest along. See, we're on turn 49 here. I feel like we should be further than that. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets. A collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. All Spain stands ready to answer your prayers, devout King Philip. From your palace at El Escorial, you can send forth your followers. Missionaries, apostles, and conquistadors, ready to strike out across the seas to spread the good word about your most holy empire. May the... It's too bad conquistadors were evil. All right. Let's definitely make them stronger. The mounted gunners. I mean, gas. It's a weird thing to call people that are that have uh, bows and arrows. <clears throat> Alright, save that game. Two more to go. My India game and my Gilgamesh game. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal oh, its crap. secrets. I think I loaded the same game again. Of heaven Sorry, guys. That uplifts our hearts and guides us. I'm pretty sure I loaded the wrong game. Sorry, sorry for wasting your time there. From your palace at El Escorial. You can send forth your followers, missionaries, apostles, and conquistadors, ready to strike out across the seas. I forgot to load the next one. Oh well, it happens. Yeah, we just did this. Uh, Alright, let's go to main menu. Eighty-one. We're way further in this game. Look at that. You have built great cities of stone and seen early empires rise and fall. Soon you will stand under the towering pinnacles of castles alongside your gallant knights. That is where the story of your people will be written. Just as the young apprentice learns to carry a sword, so shall you grow to understand your place in this world. Heroic Frederick Germans, your task is to forge the independent states that surround you into an empire. All right, let's see here. Dan built the Colosseum. 
My warrior was attacked. Defend. Nice. Mm, Alright. Probably the best thing to do would be to take out this guy. And I'll bring him over here. This guy's turn, who's unfortunately stuck here. Can you found a city? No, he can't. I'm stuck. Ah, let's get stronger. Yeah. Better nothing. that settler but I don't think I get anything by just disbanding him all right last one <laughs> from humble beginnings you have shown remarkable growth leave your bronze for iron and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets, a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. I forgot about my quest. Watch rests upon your shoulders, King Gilgamesh. Your own people and many people of the world look to you as a leader. I should be trying to find every barbarian outpost. I forgot that was a thing there. Receive a travel village reward. Alright, once I get rid of the Chinese, I'm just going to go find barbarians everywhere. Alright. Let's see what we got going on here. Alright, oops. Alright, let's bring them close. Maybe that's a bit too close, but uh, no biggie, no biggie. We can always back up a bit. Save that game. Alright, and that is Eric playing multiplayer Civ 6 while sick. Hopefully I wasn't too quiet. Looks like I'm hitting the um I'm hitting the red in my meter, so I should be loud enough. So we'll see. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.